And I can't wait so we can break apart to hear me if I seem a little unimpressed with this An anti-social pessimist but usually I don't mess with this What's up guys, it's Chan Jean here and welcome to another video Today I wanted to talk about a few things First of, I'm bringing Minecraft back I'm, I'm gonna be a Minecraft channel again, I guess but then again, I will still do some <clears throat> uh, surf videos every Monday and Saturdays. Alright, let me just kill that. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the schedule for recording. I think it would be a, a lot better if I had a schedule, kind of, you know? Because having a schedule will probably work very well. Because then people like, Oh, Chandrian's gonna be on soon. I, I'm i gonna get on and I'm gonna play with him. You know, like that. But right now, it's kind of like, I just record random things on random days. Like, sometimes I'll record three episodes of SG in a row. Or like, three freaking things in a row. That's what I used to do until I kind of quit Minecraft for like, all of four days so like i don't see why everyone's complaining i haven't quit minecraft i never actually quit minecraft like i just kind of stopped playing it because i was getting into surf but like this is this is what i think i'm gonna do is i think i'm actually going to like do monday's story time with chandrian that's what i did yesterday Tuesdays, M and B factions. Thursdays, I mean Wednesdays, SG. Thursdays, I'm thinking probably just Sky Wars. Fridays, I'm thinking uh, crap. oh yeah, PVP. Saturdays, I think I'm going to probably do some surf or just normal CSGO, you know? Because I like CSGO. I like surf. But I also kind of like Minecraft. The only thing I don't like about Minecraft it's, is almost all of its community. Am I right? Like, it's kind of a piece of crap right now. Like, people just need to realize that it's a block game and that... Being 21 years old actually makes it even more sad that you're criticizing a 12 year old for being bad at PvP. That happens all the time, and I really don't get it. So, let me just give you this scenario. You're 12 years old. You're one v one this guy. And he completely wrecks you. And it's all like... And then he starts, you know, being salty and stuff. Like... <coughs> like the guy that wrecked you he start well you wreck him and then he starts being salty and it's all like dude you're like 12 years old and he's all like no nah, i'm 21 i'm 21 and it's all like that makes it even worse like people use the, ex the the excuse that they're older in minecraft and it really just makes them sound even more sad like like you're 21 okay this is this is putting it into perspective you're 21 you're on Minecraft. Minecraft of all the games. You're on Minecraft. Someone beats you. They're 12 years old. They say, and, you, and then you start getting salty, okay? And then you start calling them names. You're all like, uh, you're toxic. So like, and then they call you like a 12 year old. And then you're all like, I'm 21. I'm 17. Stuff like that. Please never use that excuse because it it's like a backwards excuse. It, it's You should never make that excuse because uh, maybe it makes it even worse for you. Because no one... No 21-year-old man should be criticizing a freaking 12-year-old for being bad at PvP and a freaking block game. That's just, just one thing that I think should probably not be a thing. Am, am I right or am I wrong? Because I think I'm kind of right. But like, 
Yeah. It's disgusting. Like, grown freaking man. He's 26 year old grown man. 26 year old man. 26 year old grown ass. Grown man. Sorry. Sorry for the long silence. Just kind of thinking about what I said. I accidentally. Eh. Never mind. But, like. <sighs> you really should not be a 20 year old. 21 year old man and be criticizing a 12 year old for being bad at PvP. It's. It's even more sad than being a 12 year old and criticizing someone for being bad at PvP in a back block game. It's kind of a backwards excuse. And I don't know why people use it because it just makes you sound 10 times worse. Like, it doesn't make you sound cool. It makes you sound like, hmm, you're probably a fat, fat, fat man. Fat man. The ice cream man. I just imagine an ice cream truck man, okay? Who eats all the ice cream in his truck before he goes to the neighborhoods. That's what I would imagine when I imagine these stupid people. It's all like, your life is sad, rethink your life, go away, you shouldn't be playing a block game and criticizing people for it, for being bad at it. Like, you can play the game all you want, but like, if you're a 21 year old man, you should be more mature than to criticize people on being good or bad at the game. This, this is my opinion. And now I want to talk about one last thing, and that's the clowns, okay? The clowns. Those clowns, though. Um. Eh, all right. This is my opinion. Something happened once that was real. Okay. The clown. Like they they were insane and going around and kind of messing with people's heads. Like, and then people start hearing rumors that like they killed people, stuff like that. And then they decide. I'm gonna dress up as a clown and creep people out. And then they go out and creep people out. Or people hear about the rumors and then they go out and they stage something where it's basically along the lines of, oh, 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 there's a clown. We better go out. We better go look at it instead of just getting out of there. We better go look at it and then leave to make it sound more authentic. It's not authentic. It makes it actually sound a little more fake than that. Yeah, it, it makes it sound like it's completely staged, to be honest. Uh, stop, stop freaking comboing me, bruh. You, honestly, I'm trying to commentate. All right, so yeah, there's the people who are real. The psychopaths. The people that actually want to kill people. And it's an easy way to do it. Because it's like, it's a trend right now. They can't see your face. You're a clown. It's all like, it's just going to feed more into the clown thing. And then they're not going to go, which one clown is which. Then people are going to start banning costumes from being sold at stores. This is what I think is going to happen. Just to kind of regulate that trend. And then, basically, on Halloween, people are going to go out dressed as clowns and scare people on Halloween and pretend to kill people on Halloween with those freaking butcher knife things that you can get from Walmart anytime. Like, the fake plastic butcher knives that have, like, the fake blood inside them so it makes it look like a bloody butcher knife. Those... They're gonna start scaring people. And then they're gonna get the cops called. And then everything's just gonna be in a big mess. Uh, crimes committed on Halloween. Uh, crazy clowns dress up and follow people and creep people out. Oh, uh, it's Halloween. There's gonna be interviews and piece of crap like that. It's gonna be chaos. There's gonna be so many freaking clowns because everyone's gonna want to be a clown like... Oh, there's all these clowns. I just wish I could do that. I just wish I could be like them. <laughs> I'm gonna be a clown. I wanna be a clown so bad. <laughs> and then they're gonna be a clown. They're gonna try and creep people out. They're gonna get. They're either gonna get a, end up getting arrested or like 
freaking punched or something like that. I don't know. But, yeah, truth is, this clown thing is getting out of control, and people really need to kind of eh, stop it. Like, this clown thing, people are actually getting scared. People are locking their freaking doors in the middle of the day, alright? This is what I heard. People are locking their doors in the middle of the day to keep clowns out of their house. Clowns. Clowns. Oh my gosh. Clowns. But that's just my opinion, mm, to be honest. I'm gonna end this video here. If you liked the video, then be sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, I don't care what you do. Um, and maybe if you could give it a share, share it with your friends, share it with your family. That would be honestly the greatest thing you could do right now. We just kind of want to spread our channel a little bit. Spread the channel a little bit. And, um, yeah. I'm going to end this video here. I'll see you in the next video. Give this world a light to shine Cause this gon' be a lot of people mad If I uh, And my mama raised two kids all on her own I was jealous of the kids that had two parents in their home My pops left me for the sky My pop left me for the sky Now I'm steady popping bottles like this message is inside